What's going on guys? Another video today. This is from the uh, Lighthouse Beach out in Sanibel Island doing some night fishing with um, some buddies. I personally didn't do any fishing on this day but got some good footage and got to hang out with some fun peeps and um, we'll get to get some highlights from some of the, the action on this night. It was a beautiful night. It was the first time it didn't rain and like five days we'd had some crazy flooding so it was nice to be able to get out there and see some fish so yeah little baby no sandbar yeah yeah tails no i just I feel how rough he is no, i can tell by his face you his can, dorsal yeah you can tell by his fins and everything he's not back to the Definitely smell. You can smell them from here. They kind of like derpy eyes. So, uh, uh, <laughs> they kind of look like a spinner shark too because they got a really pointy nose. Yeah. You want to take a picture, Bruce? Yeah. You want to take a picture? No. No? So one of the things that we caught um, was this crazy looking catfish that had these little like growths on the top of them. And it looked like uh, Thanos from Marvel series. It was kind of crazy looking. Uh, that was one of the biggest catfish I've seen. It was a big son of a gun. They caught some really big ones tonight. That was the problem is that with night fishing is a lot of times you're going to get catfish. But every once in a while you get something really, really, really big. Um, a lot of times, those really, really big fish you aren't able to actually land. Like this guy, unfortunately. Ah! Yeah, got the hook. Dude, this was really cool. Um, a uh, calico crab or a leopard crab is the name for it. Hooked onto their uh, their line, so that was super cool. Oh, Bruce! <laughs> oh yeah. So one of the guys had hooked onto this massive, massive fish, and it was probably about a 40-minute fight, and he we really couldn't get a good read on what it was, the way it was running. It it wasn't like a shark. It didn't do a ton of head shakes, and it just kind of would it would go, it would run out straight, and then it would be dead weight. And then it'd kind of he'd be able to reel back in. He did a really good job fighting this fish too. Um, and then he would, he would he would run a little bit, but again, not a lot of head shakes. He didn't feel like it was getting stuck in the ground, like a stingray or anything. So that was super super crazy. Seeing how heavy this I mean this fish was really 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 heavy. So. Feel like a shark? No. Stingray? So he had fluorocarbon on as his leader instead of like a steel thing. So again, we were set up more for like snook and tarpon, not so much for giant, giant, giant fish like sharks, grouper, stingrays, things like that. So that was a um that was something that was definitely going to be a factor later in the fight what feel like? that is a nice run that's a nice shark dude your mullet's swimming up in the front right here. that's a nice shark yeah, then, uh, if it was a tarpon he would jump by now yeah, yeah. well maybe but if it's a big one dude he could wait yeah he could take a while the one i remember that one in the keys yeah. Oh yeah, one of the keys that didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Lines up. Put the carnage to work. So he actually plays this fish really well. He doesn't have max drag. He had pre medium drag on it, enough to be able to pull the fish, but not enough to be able to to rip it uh, completely. Just break the line. 
And he's using his body weight really well to, you know, get leverage on the fish. His back did start to hurt as uh, as the fight continued, so there were some things he could have worked on. But he does a really good job of, you know, holding off on the runs as the fish kind of makes the run. And, uh, yeah, I was, I was telling him, like, dude, you're doing the best you can with this. So it was cool. It was fun. If it's that, bro. No, he went straight. He went straight. What? If it's that big of a red, it's going in the bed of the top. No, of he's rod. Ray. Ray. Oh. Ray, yeah. No, he's, start, right. he's starting to cut right. That's all right. I pull my rods, rods in. Oh, yeah. He's, he's running right that for sure. That might be a shark. I feel like it is, eh? But the way that that's pulling that's on the right. flag like that, that looks well, like... Well, that's just... You're pulling up, yeah, but I'm saying, like, it's One of my favorite parts of fishing at night or shark fishing or whatever is uh, discussing the potential types of fish that you catch and the different theories and, you know, some some make sense, some make a lot of sense, you know, based off the head shake, based off of the weight, based off of the runs, like, you can definitely tell um, or have at least a solid idea sometimes of what type of fish it is, but it's always so fun to hear the different, like, you know, theories, like, oh, this it's this, it's that. One of my favorite things to do is just throw out like a random thing, like, oh, dude, this is definitely a hundred pound trout or something. Um, clearly not, but it's just, it's so fun. I love that excitement of like not knowing what it is and uh, the heartbreak of when you don't see what it is too. It's, you know, the highs and lows of it are fun, so. How many yards do you think you got out? Not this way. You look my real. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's schooled up. That bitch is loaded. That's crazy. That's his back. Yeah, that's so crazy. We don't got any high shield boots. Fucking heavy bitch, whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's. Fuck. Oh my god. It could be a stingray. No. No? Don't say that. I don't think so. Every time you get close. Yeah, I'm All not right. going to put any more heat on No, you're doing perfect. It'll be a glide. It's going to be a glide. It'll be a Bro, this thing is... Whatever it is, it's got to be... It's a beast. It's, it's, heavy. it's heavy, dude. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, my God. That's a shark. Run. That run? Hey, you know, grouper. The grouper will be played out by not necessarily. It took him six hours to get it in on white tackle. Anytime it got close, this thing would take a run. It was demoralizing. Just because it's out doesn't mean the pound test on the line. Is. What do you got? 60, 50? 40. What? Bridge? Uh, yeah. Uh, 40 or 50. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not heavy. Tackle. 50's all heavy, that, bro. Just think about all the hard work you just did. Down to 10. All the hard work you just did. I just lost you get to do it all again. of it. No, you get to do it again. It's fine. I just lost all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost no, all man, of it. Dude. Guess what? Just get, think of it like working out. You just get another set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's something another I don't set, do very another, often. Another bro. set of 30. It's fine. That's something I don't do very often. Oh, uh, now you're doing it now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. You're crushing it, though. It's all right, man. You need that mic? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right off the drink, bro. You need a stove? You need a stove? <laughs> hold on, let me, hold on, let me get, got it back from you. <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah, give, yeah, bro. Give them more real. muscle strength. Real, get that bro. muscles are burning. Absolutely, man. Those muscles are burning, bro. The uh, back and forth from this was just a killer, and that's how it goes for night fishing, shark fishing, whatever. Uh, you just have to be able to wait it out and be able to take the fight and be able to keep the energy you know you have to have the leverage over the fish it's that back and forth battle yeah and he just you could tell he was getting tired but he still maintained pretty solid leverage uh, I told him at some point he should probably just sit down on the, on the beach and just you know go that way save his back a little bit unfortunately this close to 40 minute fight ended in heartbreak he literally got it right up by the shore probably like just a few yards we weren't able to see what it was and it literally just broke it didn't fray or anything it just 
cut is just clean cut on the leader. And there are a lot of theories whether it was like a grouper or maybe like a nurse shark or something, just the way it was fighting, but uh, it very much on the heartbreak side. But that was quite the fight, and it was really fun to fun to watch. This night did end with some positivity, though. There were some nice snook being caught. This is a good one here, probably in the mid to upper 20s. So that was fun to see, and I'm happy that they got to get some good action in. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Yes, sir.